In today's video we are going to talk about some maximum speed. We're going to talk about the VMO, the MMO, the VFE, the VLO and the VLE. So as you can see there are a lot of speed but we're going to break them one by one and we're going to understand what are these maximum speed. So without further ado let's dive right into it. The VMO or MMO in case of Mach number, okay, the VMO is expressed in knots and the MMO is the same speed but expressed in Mach number is the maximum speed that you should not exceed in any phase of flight. Okay, you should not exceed that speed voluntarily. Okay, your operation when you fly in the aircraft, you should never fly above that specific speed. Okay, in an Airbus A320, the VMO and the MMO is represented by these red and black squares. This is a, a very important this speed because you should always fly below this speed. Even though you should never exceed this speed in normal operations in any phase of flight, it can happen at a very high flight level and if you have a wind shift or a turbulence it can happen that momentarily you will exceed the MMO. Okay, This could happen. You're gonna get the clacker from the aircraft that is actually warning you that you are above the MMO. Okay, This is not the end of the world if you recover this situation quickly. The second maximum speed that I would like to talk to you is the VFE. Okay, VFE, in order to understand and remember what is this speed, you can associate the F for the flap. Okay, so the VFE is the design maximum speed for that specific flap settings. Okay, so the airline, especially for example the Boeing 737, has a multiple flap settings, and for each flap setting, you have a maximum speed which you should never or try not to exceed in any phase of flight. So when you are landing, for example, and you want to select flap one, you need first of all to make sure that your speed is below the maximum speed for that specific flap setting which is called VFE. However, even though you are below the maximum speed for that specific flaps, okay, let's say on the Boeing 737 flap 1 is 250 knots, okay, let's say you are 249 knots, you will not select flap 1 even though you are below the maximum speed for that specific flaps. Why? It's because if you select that flaps slightly below the maximum speed you will you will anyway stress the load the flaps the flight crew technique manual from Boeing for example and other aircraft manufacturers such as the Airbus recommend to select the flaps the next flap setting when the speed is close enough to the minimum speed for the previous flap setting so if you are if you want to select flap 1 on the Boeing 737 you wait around 10 15 knots before you get to the maneuvering speed okay the up speed which is the minimum speed with clean configuration, you, you wait 10 knots before and then you select flap 1. Why? It's because you don't want to stress too much the flap setting. So guys, the VFE, remember, is the maximum design speed for that specific flap setting. In case of the Airbus A320, you have a four flap settings and each of these flap settings has a maximum speed, as a VFE. It's in order to help the pilots to make sure that they don't exceed this limitation, you have the PFDs that's gonna tell you which is the next VFE and on top of that you have a placard on the aircraft that actually has written and indicates the maximum speed, the VFE for each flap setting. The next maximum speed is the VLO or VLE. Try to connect the L with the landing gear. So this is a maximum speed when you are operating a landing gear. So the VLO is the maximum speed at which you can extend or retract the landing gear. Most probably your aircraft is going to have the same speed for retraction and extension. However, if the aircraft doesn't have the same speed for re retraction and extension, you're going to have a VLO extension and a VLO retraction. Make sure you study those speeds before operating your aircraft. And then you have a VLO E, which is a maximum speed of an aircraft to fly with a landing gear extended. For example, let's say that your, your VLO extension is 250 knots, so you need to slow down to 250 knots before actually lowering the gear, but once the gear is down and locked, your VLE could be 280 knots. Okay, so you slow down, you select the gear at 250 knots, when the gear is down and locked, you can actually accelerate to 280 knots. So the VLO, VLE has two different speeds.
just few seconds to say thank you for subscribing and support my job. I'm here to help you to achieve your goals as a pilot. Remember, if you need an app to prepare your pilot interview, you can go to pilotclimb.com where you can book a private call with me or join the Pilot Climb Pilot Job interview course that I made available for you. So again, thank you very much. Now back to the video. Okay guys, I hope you enjoy this video about maximum speed. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will help you out. I wish you a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.